Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Galson, and I wanted to welcome you to this workshop on harmonization and globalization of biomedical research and medical product development. As the co-chair of the planning committee, I'd like to welcome everyone, and really, in particular, the people who have come from very far away uh, deserve a special welcome. It's difficult uh, to travel and deal with the jet lag, and the strength of this workshop over the next two days is that we have brought in people from many different environments and many different settings to help us have valuable discussions. <clears throat> I wanted to remind everyone that the meeting is being hosted by the Institute of Medicine's Forum on Drug Discovery, Development, and Translation of which I am the co-chair. This forum focuses on key problems and strategies in the discovery, development, and translation of drugs. And I also want to just point out my co-chair of the forum, Jeff Drazen. Jeff, where are you? He's all the way in the back hiding, which he can't successfully do, but there's Jeff Drazen back there. The forum is an ongoing neutral place where stakeholders in government, academia, industry, foundations, and consumers and patients groups meet and discuss and confront issues of mutual interest and mutual concern. The forum serves to educate the public, the press, the policy community, and others through the conduct of workshops and other activities. We bring together people to focus on pressing problems in critical areas of drug development, and we foster collaborative activity of many different types coming out of our workshops. In accordance with the procedures of the National Academies, an independent planning committee organized the workshop, and we're going to have a slide that shows the members of the committee. I'm not going to call them out individually. You will see the bios in your packet as well. With that as introductory remarks, I want to pass the podium now over to Tom Boyke, my co-chair of the planning committee. Uh, thanks, Steve. I'd like to join uh, Steve in welcoming all of you to this uh, workshop, this two-day workshop. I think it will be a good one, and I think you'll be pleased that you came. Uh, as the title of this workshop suggests, biomedical research and product development is increasingly globalized and more widely distributed than ever. Uh, in the search of research talent, uh, subjects, and lower costs, Investigational studies are increasingly being conducted outside of the countries that have traditionally served as biomedical research hubs. Production of biopharmaceutical uh, products have not only globalized, they've unbundled. Lower shipping costs, better information communication technologies, reduced tariff barriers have allowed biomedical production, product components and stages of manufacturing and assembly to be sourced by, in, by uh, different specialist providers in many different countries. But not only is biomedical research and product development changed, the marketplace for these medicines has globalized as well. Rising incomes, increased government spending, and the growing burden of non-communicable diseases have made lower and middle income countries in uh, the growth market for the biopharmaceutical sector in the future. Uh, amid all this globalization, the need for consistent science-based regulations and standards have never been, has never been more important than ever. It is important to enhance the efficiency and clarity of drug development and evaluation and to promote the safety and quality of biomedical products throughout their life cycle and everywhere used. More harmonized approaches are also important for global health to ensure that the world's poorest people are able to get timely access to safe and effective medicines that they need. And more harmonized approaches are important for trade. Those of you who listened or saw the President's State of the Union address yesterday will know is mostly domestically focused, but the one foreign policy initiative announced in that speech was the start of negotiations of a U.S.-EU free trade agreement. Uh, those of you that follow these, uh, these matters will know one of the major priorities of this agreement will be promoting convergent, consistent approaches to regulations, and one of the early focuses will be the biopharmaceutical sector. So this workshop is not only important, it's timely. Uh, you'll hear a lot more over the next few days, the other initiatives that are going on in this area. Now, the purpose of this workshop is to address the needs of international harmonization of regula regulations and standards to support the development, evaluation, and surveillance of biomedical products. 
This workshop will include presentations by federal government agencies, private sector, and academia. We have uh, terrific speakers here uh, with us, so you're in for a treat, I believe. Uh, each of uh, these sessions, um, with the exception of the plenary session, will have a question and answer period, so the audience will have a chance to uh, provide their input and speak. Our discussions in this workshop are meant to identify principles, potential approaches, and strategies for advancing the development of more harmonized approaches and uh, more harmonized biomedical regulations and standards. The organization of our workshop will proceed as follows. It's two days. Uh, day one will focus on the needs uh, for regulatory harmonization. We will begin with keynote speeches uh, to provide the perspective of important stakeholders on this issue. Those speeches will be followed by a first session on the different approaches and terminology that you'll need to know um, for this discussion about international regulatory harmonization. After a short break, we'll move to a second session that will outline the approaches that are currently being incorporated in uh, the regulatory landscape on harmonization. We'll have uh, presentations on initiatives happening in Latin America, uh, Africa, and the Asia Pacific. After lunch, we will reconvene for a third session that will focus on identifying priority gaps in the global regulatory landscape around harmonization. That session will include remarks from the FDA on the regulator's uh, perspective on this issue, as well as from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on the perspective of global health programs on this issue. We will conclude with breakout groups that explore the priority needs in, uh, for harmonization in five areas drug development tools, clinical development, evaluation, post-market safety surveillance, and manufacturing. We will adjourn at 5.30. Day two will focus on the potential strategies for meeting the needs that we identified in day one for harmonization. We will begin the day with a session on our harmonization toolbox. What are the lessons and principles we can take from past efforts on regulatory harmonization in the biopharmaceutical sector as well as in other sectors? Uh, our next and fifth session will uh, identify potential options and approaches uh, for using those tools to develop harmonized regulations and standards. And our last and final session will be devoted to a discussion on the practical tactics and strategies that are available to move those approaches forward in the future and to make more harmonized regulations and standards in the biopharmaceutical sector a uh, reality. We will adjourn that second day or tomorrow at 2.45. Um, couple of notes on this workshop, important to mention about uh, IOM and its workshops, is that this is a standalone workshop. It is not part of an ongoing study at the IOM. A, study, a summary of the presentations and discussions made during this workshop will be prepared by a rapporteur and will reflect the discussion that transpired at the workshop. It will be prepared in accordance with the institutional policy and procedures and will be published by the National Academies Press and be broadly available to the public. All views presented in this report will be those of the workshop participants. The workshop will, um, or that report rather, will contain no findings and recommendations made by the planning committee. Uh, other housekeeping notes, this workshop is being webcast. Audience members asking questions or providing comments, please speak into the microphone that will be made available to you and introduce yourself. Uh, panelists who are participating in the discussion, please turn off your microphone when you are not speaking. And slides presented at this workshop will be posted on the IOM Forum's website within approximately one week. The webcast will also be posted on the Forum's website. Speaker biographies are provided uh, in the handouts that were available at the uh, registration table. And with that, I'll turn it over to Steve to introduce our um, plenary speakers. Okay, so again, this particular session won't have any Q&As, and with that, I'm going to introduce our first keynote speaker. It's Peter Honig, who's the Vice President and Head of Should I repeat it? <laughs> First speaker, Peter Honig, Vice President and Head, Global Regulatory Affairs, AstraZeneca. 